hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial so we are back with another arduino tutorial for beginners and uh, in this tutorial we are going to do a arduino temperature sensor projects so uh, this will be a continuation of arduino projects and we have done a lot of projects on arduino and in this tutorial we are going to use uh, tmp36 uh, the temperature sensor for our project and we are going to do a complete uh, project where you'll be able to see how to do the circuit and also to do the coding to uh, get your data out of the temperature sensor and to control some LEDs and other devices as per your need. So this is how our, our uh, circuit will be looking like where we'll be using the temperature uh, sensor TMP36 and we'll be controlling these LED li lights using the temperature sensor and I'll be also doing the complete coding and we'll be showing the simulation how we can get the output so let's get started so I'm using a uh, Tinkercad for this project so if you don't have an account with Tinkercad it's a free uh, op 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 free option where you can register with your email account or Google or you know, different options you have so you can register it and you can start using for this simulation so I have a new project so what we require is we need an Arduino board and we also need a, a breadboard to make our connection okay and also we need uh, the temperature sensor which is uh, TMP36 so you can see like uh, the sensor will be on here so you can connect the sensor okay and also what we require is we need a few LEDs so what we do in this project is we are using two LEDs but the concept is same if you want to have more LEDs or any other devices you can make use of that as well so I'm going to uh, give one LED as a different light another one as red then you know uh, we also need few resistors so it should be going from you know the uh, from cathode to the ground okay and uh, this one as well so this is the ground so we'll be connecting the ground and this uh, resistor is going to be uh, 220 ohms okay so 220 ohms resistor for this one as well so these are the total devices we need we need a temperature sensor we need uh, two LEDs so if, as I said if you want more LEDs or other devices you can connect but here you know I just want to show how you uh, get the uh, data from the temperature and that we can use to control these LEDs okay so let's do some uh, connections so uh, let me connect uh, the 5 volt from here uh, to this position okay, where we can use it for as a 5 volt okay I will give this color as red and let me connect the ground to here and I'll give that as a black and uh, I'm also going to connect the ground to this place just so in case if we need more ports we can use it and uh, the red to red here okay so it's just uh, you know it's not mandatory if you are going to use any place it's only required but I think it's our small project so we don't need much uh, over here okay so now uh, you know uh, these LEDs we are going to control uh, with uh, some ports here so we, we have to use uh, the pins from the digital pins to control these LEDs so before that I also want to show like what are pins we have for the temperature sensor you have one for power one for uh, ground right so what we can do is uh, I will uh, connect these uh, pins so this is for ground so I will connect this one directly to the ground and I'll put it as black and this is for power so I'll connect this one directly to the power as well okay so as I said now we are not using these pins anyhow so if you don't need we can just remove this uh, uh, connection as well so it will be simplified okay now we need to get the output of this temperature sensor so it's usually gives analog output so I'm going to use a0 from this analog pins so you can connect that pin over here okay so we get the output from uh, and I'm going to give a color maybe blue okay I'll put it as blue and now you know uh, this uh, a0 pin will get the value from the temperature 
and we, we are going to write the code for it so but this is only for the circuit connection now based on that we need to control the the pin uh, the led so i'm going to use uh, the pin number two for uh, the green so i'll get as a green and uh, pin number three for uh, the red light okay i'm going to give some uh, yellow or something hmm? so now we have done the connection so it's a pretty simple connection right so if you don't want to have leds if you want to use some uh, buzzer or you uh, know something else you can make the connection based on that so you can see the whole connection now right so we have uh, the two LEDs connected and the resistors connected to the ground and also we have the temperature sensors the power ground and the we uh, we out okay so it's going to a zero now let's start doing our code so I have already written the code so I will uh, just go through the code completely so you can uh, have a clear picture on that so what we are doing is we are setting a you know two variables so one is for baseline temperature as zero and also celsius as zero so this is because we are going to use these values to source store some data in this uh, whole program so if you are uh, using some other names you change it based on that okay and now we are going to set it as zero so that you know we can start as a uh, the variable is zero okay and as you know that void setup we need to set up uh, which pin is uh, doing what so you know a zero the analog pin i'm going to put it as input okay now uh, we are uh, using a serial begin so that you know we can uh, write something on the serial monitor so if you don't want to print anything you don't have to begin so i'm going to use that to print something and you know the pin 2 and pin 3 which is going to be output so that we are going to give value for for the uh, the uh, leds okay so that's why the pin 2 and pin 3 are output and i'm going to set those pins as low uh, in the uh, white setup itself so that you know it's always zero in the initial phase okay and uh, the void loop is the place where we are writing the whole code so as you see this baseline temperature we started with zero and i'm going to set it as uh, 20 so that i can do some you know uh, if loops based on that okay so that you know uh, once i get the temperature from this temperature sensor i can uh, decide what uh, based on the baseline temperature so this is a default uh, you know um, uh, the function or a calculation to get the temperature so there are other ways to do it as well but this is straightforward so for a temperature sensor you can use this uh, formula like map uh, analog a0 which is the pin where we have connected and this is the formula for it okay so that will give you the temperature in celsius if you want to convert in fahrenheit you need to convert based on uh, how celsius can be converted to fahrenheit okay and i'm going to print that value so you know, the print celsius means this value what we are getting out of uh, the you know, temperature sensors will be printing uh, as it is okay so that's what uh, you know is this what we are doing so we'll get output in the serial monitor like how much temperature uh, the temperature sensor is getting detected now if you only just want to get these details this should be enough but i just want to show like uh, with the base temperature what we get uh, we are controlling these leds so uh, what i'm trying to do is first if the temperature is less than 20 so this that's a place where the baseline temperature comes now if you don't want to use baseline temperature you can directly type it here like 20 okay so it's, it's better you know use a variable so you don't have to change the whole program whenever you want to make some changes so that's why we are using the baseline temperature okay now if you want to keep something uh, more than 20 you can use that as well now if it's less than 20 what we are defining is both the pin 2 and 3 should be low that means both the LEDs will be switched off okay and the next if statement is yes if it's uh, less than 20 it will be off but in case if it's more than 20 and if it's less than 20 plus 20 that is less than 40 then it will be like um, you know the uh, pin number two which is like green will be high and uh, three that means red will be low so that means if it's uh, 21 uh, 22 uh, it's less than uh, 40 so that means till 20 to 39 it should be green should be uh, high that means the green led will be on and the red led will be off and uh, this is the next if loop is like if it's uh, greater than or equal to 
20 plus 20 that means uh, it's greater than or equal to 40 and it's less than uh, 60 that is 20 plus 40 60 then the red will be high and uh, you know the green would be low so that means uh, from 40 to 59 it should be red side should be high or on and the next uh, if statement what we are giving is if it's uh, more than 80 uh, or more than 60 that means six, um, equal to 60 so equal to or greater than 60 the both will be high so 20 uh, less than 20 means both light will be off if 20 to 39 it should be green if it's uh, you know 40 to 59 it should be red and 60 and more should be both high okay and we are just giving a delay for a small period so that's the overall uh, code it's very simple i'm also going to give the link for this code in my github so you can just go and download the script from there as well okay and I'll also give the you know, circuit diagram as well there, so you can just make use of that uh, uh, for your uh, you know, uh, circuit and uh, your code. Okay. Now let's start the simulation. Now you can see uh, it's already green is high because if you go to the serial monitor, you can see we are already in 25 degree. So that means above 20, the green is high. So now if I reduce it less than, so it means minus 8 or if it's uh, you know 4 15 it's still you know uh, both LEDs are off now if you go about 20 30 it's still green is on right now if you see I'm above 40 so 41 the red is on green is off now if I go a little bit more high so 47 56 still red is high right now if you see I'm 61 then both is uh, high right if you want to add another LED, you can just do LED, you just put one more loop. So it's like a mood selector, like if you want to select uh, the mood of a person, like you, how much uh, hot or, or if you want to s temperature of some device, if it's how much hot, you can define, you know, some light. We can also add some buzzer or something so that, you know, you get some sound. Okay, this is too hot. So you can make use of uh, the program, something like that. So that's the overall uh, process. I just want to show like how you calculate the temperature. So you can just use this uh, formula Celsius equal to map that will directly give you the value into the Celsius. Then if you want to convert, you use the formula for converting to Fahrenheit and based on that you can use. Okay. So that's the overall co uh, no project. I just want to show you. it's a simple project. We'll be adding more and more components in the upcoming tutorials on with temperature sensor. Maybe we'll add also some humidity sens uh, sensors and all those things. So this is the base. I just want to show you like how you can do this. So I hope you are uh, enjoying this uh, tutorial. So thank you for watching. So I would request you like uh, if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and also like my videos, share and uh, comment.